One of the highlights of every cattle industry convention is the great speakers we get to hear from, and this year was no exception, uh, being addressed by the United States Secretary of Agriculture, Secretary Sonny Perdue. Mr. Secretary, thank you for coming yeah, back to the convention for the thank second you. time. And thank you for wearing that tie. How about that? That's yeah. fantastic. You know, last year when we were together, you'd mentioned that you had just told the president about the three top issues facing agriculture, trade, trade, and trade. That's right. You've got some things to report for us this well, year. Well, we do, you? yes. Obviously, some good news there. Obviously, I think the president, uh, while some people were anxious, they really trusted him, and that's been validated, I think. The Japan agreement, which is huge, obviously, for mm -hmm. the cattle deal. Phase one with China, getting beef back into China. With the age limitation and the MRLs uh, uh, loosened up there will be huge. Mm -hmm. And then the the certainty of our Canadian and Mexican markets that we've depended on as well. So it's good news out there. That is good news. And I understand through your presentation that you recently returned home from a trip uh, to the European Union. We uh, did. What opportunities do you think the beef industry mm. has there? I think there are huge opportunities. Obviously, some barriers, as you know. Okay. The Europeans have had designed some uh, protocols and some uh, uh, non-tariff barriers that we think are unreasonable. They don't really comply with sound science. And... Uh, We've got obviously Brexit, so we're gonna focus on the UK. But also I think there's an opportunity in speaking with their trade commissioner, uh, Commissioner Hogan, I think there's a real opportunity for us to do something on some of these non-tariff trade barriers that could really open up the, the beef market to Europe that uh, uh, could be really healthy for, the, for them, for healthy for us. And I think you mentioned in your presentation, uh, many times it's, a, it's about a number of base hits, not just yeah. one home run. Is that right? I did. We talked about the three big ones, Japan, China, uh, Can Canada, Mexico. But I was visiting with Ambassador Lighthizer last Friday, and we talked about all the singles and doubles. You bet. Ted McKinney's been out all over the world knocking on doors and promoting U.S. products. In fact... You might remember me saying I felt like we'd got maybe two dependent on big Chinese market. That's so right. we'd love to spread our customer base out all over the world. Diversify our risk yeah. for sure. You know, one of the other questions that, that we had for you, um, President uh, Trump shared in his, uh, uh, his, his presentation, the State of the Union presentation, that the best days for the United States are ahead. Would you say the same thing for agriculture? Uh, I definitely would. I think the technology advances that we see the miracle of American agriculture, the productivity, that's what we're talking about. The productivity gains that we have seen over the last 90 years have inured to the American family and American consumer. I talked about the difference mm -hmm. in our lower food costs in America than anywhere else in the developed world. That's what American uh, farmers and ranchers have done for our American consumers. And that's really not only food security, but that's food accessibility and affordability. Absolutely. You also shared a word that is critically important to the beef industry. That's sustainability. Yeah. Give us your take on sustainability. Well, again, you've got to be, we, you know, farmers, I believe, have always been good environmentalists. We're not going to poison the ground because that's what we depend on for our livelihoods. Mm -hmm. But we've got to communicate what we're doing, and we can always do better. We can develop a more circular system of using that manure that's developed and, and making sure we can find that and reuse it back on our farms in a more circular, sustainable system. So we're always learning better hands, whether it's digesters or what, that we can go forward with to, to do that. But I think American farmers want to do that. We're making research in order to learn better te techniques there. But we can be environmentally uh, sustainable. We can be socially sustainable but we're not economically sustainable. We can't support the other two. Amen to that. It's a three-legged stool. Right. Mr. Secretary, you seem to enjoy coming to this convention, and I know folks enjoy hearing from you. What is it about this convention and cattle producers that you enjoy so much? I like farmers all over. Obviously, these are some of the best of the best that come to these associations and understand we've got a real responsibility to, to bring the message forward. We've kind of taken, farmers typically just kind of stayed behind the farm gate, proudly doing what they did, quietly going about their business. We can't do that anymore. The, the media and the consumer drive so much of this. We got to tell the great story of American agriculture loudly and proudly. Mr. Secretary, on behalf of all beef cattle producers, I want to say thank you for all you've done for our industry and the agricultural industry at large. It is appreciated. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Good to see you.